Hi, welcome to another Sportfish YouTube channel film. Um, my name's JT and you join us on what is a stunning day. Uh, fingers crossed it looks like summer has finally arrived and for a lot of the fishermen in the UK that means one thing and it's time to head out and do some bass fishing. So my good friend PJ here, he's very kindly invited me out for a couple of days to chase some bass. So let's go and see how we get on. Right, just got out on the water, and before we get started, just got to cover a couple of safety things. Now, we are at sea, things can happen and do happen. Make sure you're always wearing yourself a life jacket. Auto inflatables are always best in case you hit your head, they'll still go off regardless. Along with a hat and your glasses, make sure that you cover your eyes. Uh, we're going to be throwing around some weighted flies, so best to put safety first. Now, let's get fishing. So for those of you guys out there that fancy giving bass fishing a bit of a go, um, you don't actually have to go out and buy specific stuff for bass fishing. What I've got here is a, a 9 foot 8 weight rod, um, one of the uh, Nautilus Giga series reels, really nice large armour reel. This is actually my bone fishing outfit, but a lot of the stuff you've got at home which you use for your still water and reservoir fishing will be absolutely perfect, 7 weight or 8 weight. And just team that up with a fly line, um, this, this one in particular is uh, the Rio Aqualux Striped Bass. Now it's a, a fast intermediate, about two and a half inches per second. Absolutely perfect for bass, they're always having a look up um, and it's the ideal outfit. So one line, some of the stuff you've already got. If you wanted to go out and buy a specific outfit but didn't want to spend too much money, then it'd be a great idea to have a look at one of our Farlows outfits. So you get the rod, the reel, the line and the backing and you make a nice little saving at the same time. So. There's loads of flies out there we can use for bass fishing, um, but to be fair, I'm one of those guys that tends to sort of stick to what he uh, has faith in and what he catches on, which ultimately tends to be a clouser minnow or a deceiver type pattern. Um, chartreuse and white, probably my favourite combo, in various sizes from about a size 6 up to as big as about a size 1.0. Um, so depending on what size of bait is around, depends on the size of the fly. Certain times of the day, depending on how bright the sunshine is, will depend what colours we're using. But uh, everything from blacks, greys, reds, um, but the chartreuse and white is my go-to. Probably catches 95% of my bass that I actually uh, managed to land. Um, along with a few different deceiver patterns. Um, out of all the flies in the world, these two patterns have probably caught more fish in fresh and salt water than any other fly that's ever been created. Um, so just grab a few, you don't need too many, but you want to have some weight on them just to get down along with the fly line. And uh, let's see how these are going to work. So when fishing for bass, we're trying to imitate small bait fish and sand eels that the bass are preying on. So we're looking to get a nice sort of jerky, slightly fast and erratic retrieve with the flies. Get that nice slim profile of the fly working through the water and together with those weighted eyes, get a little bit of a movement up and down in between retrieves. Really try and get these fish to hone in on this bait-like pattern. So despite the beautiful conditions, it's been a bit of a tough day so far, but we've just had a we don't move to a new location, nice feature here. And second or third cast, just nailed the chartreuse and white clouser again. Nice little fish. There we go. Lovely little bass. Not a monster. We can't all start off big. Pop that fly out. Far too precious a resource to only catch one, so these fish need to go back. And off she goes. Well, that's the end of our two days bass fishing. It's been great fun. Weather's been a little bit mixed, but uh, we made the most of it. First day was a little bit overcast, a bit dull. Uh, fishing was great, plenty of fish. Second day today, it's been absolutely stunning. We did have really high hopes. Fortunately, it wasn't until a little bit late in the day, but we uh, we did find the fish and in good numbers. Yep, it appeared. Um, probably lost count of how many fish we've hooked, lots of double hookups. Um, but unfortunately, nothing of any size, but it is, as we say, early in the season. Later, August, September, October, the big girls hopefully should be around. Um, so there's not much else for me to say, but just thank PJ for a great day. 
Um, look forward to getting out with you again. Yep. Fingers crossed we'll get some decent fish. Um, if you need any more help or information on bass fishing, don't hesitate to call our stores or go to www.sportfish.co.uk. Um, or you can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and you'll get all the latest films as they're released. And we look forward to seeing you the next time.